Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside, Movie Maniacs, as we take a look at the independent horror film that hasn't even had its world release yet, but we got the inside scoop for you on the film called The Device. Now, The Device is brought to us by director Jeremy Berg, and it was also co-written by Jeremy and John Portnova, which, those names you may recognize, those are the gentlemen who brought us uh, Seder Ridge, a.k.a. The Invoking, which just got distribution this past year. Now, in The Device, we get the story of two sisters who have grown apart over an, uh, 12 some years because of an event that happened in their past. Well, another event has brought them back together and they've started to patch things up. But just when you know it, as things start to be looking good between these two, they happen upon the device that's in the woods around this odd wreckage. And so they take the device home with them, and we soon see the effects that this device has on the two sisters, plus one of the sisters' fiancés. And we see how it, how it affects the dreams of one of the sisters, how it changes the fiancé as we learn more and more about the device and realize it may not be of this earth. Folks, the device is a... Uh, is a science fiction thriller that is well paced, adds the creepy, and really is atmospheric. Something that these guys are uh, really becoming known at doing well. Setting up the atmosphere and the tension. It is a great pace. I love the pacing of this film. They never, they never rush to get to things, okay? Like you might get in some films like this. Especially when dealing with uh, a sci-fi element and dealing with an object, okay? Uh, they, they don't rush it at all. So I really love the pacing of this film and the fact that they took time to develop the characters and then they started snowballing things a little bit faster and faster as you get to learn more about the device and more creepy stuff happens. Now what really works with these characters are the two sisters for sure. The chemistry between these two is fantastic. The characters are Abby and Rebecca. Abby is played by Angela DeMarco and Rebecca is played by Kate Alden. And let me tell you, the chemistry between these two was really fantastic. I bought into the fact these are two sisters with history. Their dialogue felt authentic. Their scenes, you could feel the tension and emotion there. Both played off each other really well, and I loved every scene both of these two, uh, the, both these actresses were in. Very well done there. Now, uh, there Calvin, who is the fiancé of one of the sisters, played by David S. Hogan. He does good in here as well. I wasn't quite warming up to his character in the beginning, but as the film goes on, we can see why he was cast in this role as he brings more and more to his character and some meat to his character and really becomes kind of a, a spooky guy by the end of the film and I really liked that. I liked the build up of his character as well and uh, you know in the beginning wasn't quite so sure about him but by the end of the character uh, by the end of the film I really got into his character as well. So all three performances by these actors and actresses really well done and it helps sell this film. Now what also helps sell this film is the fact that this film works within its budget. It uses old school camera effects and tricks in order to still get uh, the idea across that there's something different about this device. And all it is, it's, it's actually a very simple design for the device, but they do so well with the sound design and the camera angles and the lighting and just the way they handled the editing of this really brought, uh, made this simple device really have a, almost a characteristic of its own. And I love that. I love when independent filmmakers do that. They still got their idea across. They still made an, a, an effective sci-fi thriller, but they worked within their budget and they used old school techniques to help get their ideas across, and they're very successful in that. Folks, I really enjoyed the device for nearly the entire span of the film, and what's funny is they got a really great big build-up. I will say the ending is a little more subtle than some may expect, but for me, that wasn't a bad thing at all. I enjoyed the entire duration of this film from beginning to end. It was a lot of fun. And again, John Portnova, Jeremy Berg, the October people are showing that they are guys you need to keep an eye on for because they are creating some great horror out there. If you are in Seattle, Washington, you can catch the world premiere of the device at the local sightings film festival. And that's on September 27th. That's when it has its world premiere. Check it out there. Go to their Facebook page. I'll put the link down below where you can follow where they're going so you can possibly catch the device at a festival. It is worth your time for horror fans, for indie horror fans, for someone looking for a good sci-fi thriller that doesn't rely on jump scares to really creep you out. The device is that film, folks. So check it out if you will. I had a lot of fun with it, and I think you will too. 
And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Remember, till next time, folks, keep that ticket stub.